So we praise God. We thank God for them. We pray that they enjoy themselves. Amen. We thank God for all of our guests. Amen. Praise God. My uncle and auntie and their kids. And we thank God. Grandkids. We appreciate you all and all of our visitors. We thank God for having you. You could be somewhere else in somebody else's church. We appreciate you coming out to be with us. Amen. Today. Amen. This is our relationship month. That we will be talking about relationships. About a relationship that has to start with girlfriend and boyfriends to be husband and wife. Really? Amen. And just don't jump into be husband and wife. Amen. I know they got this thing going out love at first sight and all that good stuff. Y'all can roll with down if you want to. Amen. Um, amen. It has, it's something that marriage is something that has to be developed. Amen. There has to be some understanding. Amen. There have to be some equal playing grounds. Amen. And God have established marriage in heaven. Amen. So God has something that God has given us of a union between man and woman. Amen. Amen. Don't let nobody trick you. They can get married all they want to in California. Two men can get married if they want to. It's not legal in God's eyesight. Amen. amen. It, it is an abomination before the Lord. Two women. Amen. God didn't fix it that way. Y'all can't procreate. Amen. Take, two men can't procreate. Take a man and a woman. Take sperm and it takes an egg. Amen. Do we... Uh, replenish the earth. Amen. And if you will, turn your Bible with me and I'm just going to hit this passage of scripture and I want to take you guys down memory lane for those that have got married to those that's thinking about marriage. It will help you prior to getting there. Amen. So it, it's something in it for everybody. Amen. If you're not married, it's something in it for you. If you are married, it's definitely something in it for you. Amen. So we need to go down memory lane. If you will, turn to me Genesis the second chapter, 18 verse. Amen. These are the words of the Lord. Amen. Amen. To the prophet Moses. 2.18 reads as follows. The Lord said, It is not good for man to be alone. I'll make a help suitable. Help suitable for him. Amen. Amen. And from that passage of scripture, I'd like to leave this thought with you today. Eyes married now. <laughs> Amen. Eyes married now. Amen. Amen. First thing I want you to realize that marriage is, or even relationship, is not a thing about control. Because most men feel that when I marry you, I become your boss. Amen. That's not marriage, that's slavery. Amen. Amen. So marriage is not to be taken into to the point where the man feels that he has all the control. Amen. Amen. Now listen, if a man, if you married to someone or you dating someone with a controlling spirit, amen, he or she has the spirit of Jezebel. Amen. Now listen here. Now, now listen. Don't call a man or a woman. Uh, they have a controlling spirit because they won't let you spend the money any kind of way. Uh -huh. Hello, somebody. You heard what the pastor said. I know some of y'all can't. Y'all don't got this little bit here. Y'all ready to go home and all about the little? I don't say it already. No, I say you won't spend that. You got a controlling spirit. No, no. He's wise. She wise. Can't spend everything you get. Or you won't have. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you right now, we work out that some of us got two or three jobs, got nothing, zero zilch in the bank. Amen. Hello. Amen. You need a wise man. Don't you go find a man that's dumb like you, a woman that's dumb like you. <laughs> we gotta find somebody, sister Melissa, that's gonna be uh that they're gonna compliment each other. Amen. If I'm a big spender, I need to find someone who's conservative. Amen. Now, brother, it's going to be a battle. Sister, it's going to be a battle. If he's conservative, she's conservative. You're not. It's going to be a battle there now. That's what the preacher for. Y'all bring that chip. I tell sister, now you need to slow your roll. Amen, somebody. Amen. And inside, amen, amen, and inside relationship, inside pre-relationship, that cannot be manipulation. Amen. Listen here. We, 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 we won't. Uh, when we're dating, we want the person to think that we're this and we're that and we're the other, but yet we're manipulating them to believe that we're somebody that we're not. Uh -huh. And if you're going to marry this person, they're going to find this out after a while. Hello, somebody. Amen. So we need, to, we, need to, we need to get rid of all these faces that we wear. Amen. And just look here, if you're going to fall in love with me, fall in love with me for who I am. Amen. Not for what I can give you, not for what I can let you ride in, not for where you can live. Amen. 
about me because if they come and take my car and come and get my house for my house in foreclosure, baby, you gonna stick in there with me? Amen. 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 So therefore, we got we got to stop all this, amen, manipulation because our marriages haven't been no more than a lie. I didn't marry you because I love you. I married you because of what you can give me. Those marriages don't work. Next thing is that we got to realize is sex. When you're married for sex only, you're in a bad situation. You won't, and he won't always have that sex drive. And so as soon as he can't sex you up just right. <laughs> and don't desire sex like she used to, all of a sudden that's going to be a problem. Somebody say keep it real. Hello somebody, these things happen, these things occur. So if I marry you for love, and then we can get some prayer about you not want to have sex no more, we can get we can pray our way through that. Hello somebody. But we marry only for the body and not for the rest of them. Amen. We need to have somebody, amen, that we got some comparison, something that we can come to grip with, something that we have in common so we can go forward together. And if there's one thing that brings us together to keep us our minds and our hearts set right towards our goals, then that's the thing we need to get rid on. Amen. By the while, y'all, on sex, if you're watching, we'll go out the window. <laughs> y'all mean you can brag all you want to keep living. I ain't got that yet, but I'm just telling you, I know, I know what I'm talking about. But it's just only this. Yeah. I gotta take my coat off. Amen. Amen. Listen, listen. So, so we need to get out of the, the sex industry. We need to stop doing it for sex alone because, and then listen, the Bible says it's better to marry than to burn. Burning passion, better lust, and then things of that sort. So, so if, if you're hot, you, no matter how hot you are, man or woman, you still need to be, let your prayer life be more than your hotness. Because you still need to be prayerful to God that God will send you the right person. Amen. Amen. Don't let your prayer God send me somebody equally hot as me or hotter. Because <laughs> the only thing you will have is some sex. Amen. And after you can do sex, you're not going to be able to communicate. How many of y'all know that communication in a relationship is everything? Amen. You got nothing after the sex is over. You got nothing to talk about. Amen. Amen. Well, you uh, <laughs> For sex alone. Amen. The next thing that we'll, we'll talk about briefly is uh, finances. Because women have a tendency to attack the man that they got the money. Thank you for your quietness. Amen. They don't care what he looks like, don't care, amen, what he works, but as long as he got the money, honey, that's all I need. But when his money gets funny, his change gets strange, she Nowhere to be found. Because in the society, in the economy, the way we live in now, hey amen, money don't always, they ain't always last, always. Amen. Things are going up. Amen. Also, we need to get our eye off the popular person. Hey amen. Hey amen. Relationship is not about popularity. Yes, sir. If I get Mr. John John here because he's popular, everybody knows him. Hey amen. If I can get on his arm, I make it. Everything's going to be all right. Listen here, John John is not going to always be at the top. Yeah. What happens when John John loses throne, 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 and someone else takes over? Are you going to leave John John now? Because yeah. a lot of times we marry for popularity. Yeah. He's popular. Everybody sees him. He's a, a community-oriented person. Yeah. Amen. That's the wrong reason, y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Everything for love is the wrong thing. Yes, sir. This is here. Let me give y'all some stuff out of the book. This is here. First thing we deal with inside of a ritual, inside of marriage, as a, as a minister, we deal with a statement of purpose. It talks about 
we have come together in the presence of this company that has joined together this man and this woman into a holy matrimony. That is the first thing we do in the midst of marriage. And that is a, a statement of purpose. The purpose for coming together is that we'll have someone to spend the rest of our lives with. Amen. That's our purpose. Okay? So it, it tells us, amen, there are some conditions in the midst of every marriage, every relationship. There's conditions in marriages, y'all. We come to the, 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 the love, the cherish, the sickness, and, and the health, and to death do us part. All those things. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get to that so I can help y'all. Amen? Amen. So we understand, with the statement of purpose, we understand that the first marriage was created in the Cain of Galilee by Jesus when he turned water into wine and things of that sort. So marriage comes from God. God has ordained marriage to be. Okay? Amen. Now look at that. There's a declaration of consent. It asks the groom, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in holy uh, covenant of marriage? Will you love her, conquer her? Honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsake all others. Be faithful to her so long as you both shall live. Your answer is supposed to be, I will. Okay? Now look here. I want to address the part where you love her. Because sometimes when she put on 2.5 pounds, that makes her lovable even more. <laughs> but that ain't what men see. They start looking for the Coca-Cola box. Amen. Amen. But you got to realize that when you start having babies, you expect increase. That's right. Amen. Amen. And so, so listen here. She's the same person. Amen. She got the same heart. What's up? Amen. She just done put on a few pounds. Amen. In order to uh, condemn her for adding a few pounds, you need to be willing to walk with her. Amen. Oh, boy. Amen. We can shoot them down, but we're not willing to go to the gym. We're not willing to go to the ring. Well, the gym costs a lot of money. But let's walk around the block. Amen. <laughs> If you're not willing to sacrifice with her, shut your mouth. Yeah. But she's the same person that you love. Amen. <laughs> just the way it came on, you can go off. Amen. Even more can come on if you just support. Amen. 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 Look at y'all. Amen. You can see it literally. Amen. Whoever God leads you to, whoever God directs you to. Amen. Look here. It won't always be Johnny look good. Amen. Y'all know that, right? He won't always have the right swag. <laughs> yeah, she won't always have the Coca Cola. Uh huh. She won't have all them so fine jeans. <laughs> but if God, if you see, if you see fit, but that's who I need to have, Amen, to help me do what, do your will, then it is so. And the reason why we're not happy, the reason why we don't be happy, because guess what, y'all, we, we 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 go outside God's will, because we're looking at the outer appearance. Y'all help me out. I'll let y'all lips fall off if I say it. Amen. Y'all live like. Somebody pass around some chapstick. Amen. Look here, look here, uh, look here, y'all. Look here. It used to be a six pack of all this. Uh -huh. yeah. right. It's a cag now. Uh -huh. But I don't feel that my wife stopped loving me because that. Yeah. I think that now. <laughs> Amen. So the love don't stop because you had on a few pounds because you didn't love me for my for my at that day and time my nice body. Amen. Gotta realize that this man gonna change. Should sure, you still cook? It's gonna change. Treat me like you treat me is gonna change. My metabolism ain't fast as warriors. Now I'm moving mighty slow, son. I gotta go to the gym and push it right along. So, so it has to be about love. Amen. It, has about, it has to be about love. Amen. Amen. Listen, y'all. God never gave you the right to. People don't have to change for you. Amen. Who are you for me to change for? Amen. This is who I am. Amen. Now listen, I'm not talking about on the spiritual side because all of us need to change in that aspect of life. If you ain't saved, you need to be saved. Amen. Don't fool yourself. You ain't trying to go to hell. Amen. Amen. But who I am as a person is who I am. These are the characteristics that's in my life. I know God can change some, but you can't change. Amen. So women can't become dictators. 
Listen here, I believe this with all my heart. The Bible says, through love and kindness, have I thrown out I mean, any woman who has an unsaved spouse, or any man that has an unsaved spouse, I believe if you use the right love, come on somebody, yeah. instead of complaining. See, because when you go home and complain, I got to cook and clean too, that man says, Lord, what Jesus did in her. <laughs> Baby, that's what you signed up for. Yeah. And, and listen, I tell, I tell you this, if you want, if you humble and submit yourself to that man, after a while when you get home, only thing you gonna have to do is put your foot up and say, I'm home. Yeah. But ain't no man gonna clean up for no hell raising woman. You come home, you talk to me, I keep making me feel like I ain't nobody. No, no, you come home and you clean up too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You ain't gotta bring my plate, just you make sure it's in there. I go and fix it. I know you're married with it. It takes some love, y'all. Listen, for all y'all married women, if you think about getting married, amen, listen here, and the man is good to you, amen, your significant other is good to you, amen, what's the reason why you came to that man? Come over to your house, you can bring him a plate. Get, get him used to it. Baby, this is, see, look here, men don't have nothing to look forward to anymore. Y'all don't give nothing to look forward to. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so y'all mind the gutter, you know. I wasn't there yet. <laughs> Probably wouldn't have got there, but y'all are starting something. Amen. But what I'm saying is, it's more than about that. Amen. But what I'm saying is, amen. Now listen, show, don't, don't just show me some gratitude while we're dead. Don't, 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 don't just bring me my food, amen, and serving me and, and taking my shoes off and putting me on some slippers while we date. I'm like, Lord, how much, how long is it going to last when I say I do? That's what we guys me got to be wondering. Now, is this a dream? Or is this reality? We got, let's see, so, so, so be yourself. This is why that when you come to the table of counseling, this is why you let you pour out all the hot beans. Let this man know exactly who you are. Let this woman know who you are. Amen. And in the Bible, let y'all know what your duties are. One towards another. Now listen, you may have your own list. You may have your own things going on in your own mind, but that's some what the Bible says. The word of God is true. Amen. Amen. To love her, to comfort her, and now this is here. Uh, and to honor her and to keep her in sickness and in health. Now let's hear y'all. If I was good enough to be with when the money wasn't funny. Well, go ahead on, Rick. And my chain wasn't straight. Oh, look at me, y'all. I'm good enough to be with while I'm broke and acting like a joke. Hello, somebody. Because I'm the same person. Amen. My love for you is the same. We just ain't got no money, honey. Amen. But you should be able to live with that. forsaken all others. Listen here, sometimes y'all know that it's right, but sometimes we giving them away. We giving your spouse away. I ain't legalizing it. Sometimes you're giving it away. Hello. I'm tired. You know, I mean, all I want to do was, guess what, you're going to go with OT. Hello, somebody. Sometimes we as wives, have to sometimes be considered. And you ain't gonna use that same line every time now. I don't care if you're dressing up and recalibrate and put it in another whole phrase, you ain't gonna be able to use it all the time. Amen. Because you ought to be scared using that line all the time. Because if you won't, it should never go there. But guess what? This is a real world we live in. And if it's just that easy for you to step out of bounds that easy, you ain't had nothing from the beginning. I wouldn't dare throw that in my white paper. If you want somebody else with it, you gotta be kidding me. Y'all bad, y'all can say that. They already thinking that y'all already tell If you want somebody, no, good, I don't know when that thought. Uh -uh. I don't care how true you think it is, but still, don't you be putting that out there like that. Don't you say stuff that you're gonna regret later. 
because that man gonna be thinking about that for the rest of y'all man. Where you at? You wonder why he called you every five minutes now. You made that statement. It don't take that long to get those people those pancakes and pancakes and sausage. I'm coming now. You stay right. I'm coming in the purple where you are. Yes, yeah, see, we form those kind of things. We call those kind of things to happen when we start saying stuff out of our mouth, out of anger. Don't get your spouse to thinking that kind of stuff. Be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. Now, I'm going to get into it. Well, I'm Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Trying to help, help, help all of us out. Now, it says this. It talks to the groom and tells him about you willing to take the woman to be your wife, to have, to hold from this day forward, and for, for, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, and sickness and health. Look here, y'all. You're going to have some downtime in that. Where the marriage is not where, amen, financially stable, is not jumping, is not kicking, is not hopping, is flopping. It's barely surviving. It's the love that you have one for another that will help you get through those things. Amen. Listen, it said for better or worse, sometimes you're going to be living in worse times. But the love that we have for each other will help get us through the worst time and have us looking towards the better time. So if your marriage hasn't went through worst time, baby, keep stay married, it will come. I tell most people that get married up under a year, most times that year is a year, or first year or two are the roughest time. Now, now listen, it wasn't like boyfriend and girlfriend. Now you really got to get used to each other. Now she got some ways that she said, Lord, have I made a mistake? <laughs> oh, he got some ways, Lord, I must have, I done missed my name. <laughs> But guess what, y'all? One thing we got to always realize that we're not married to ourselves. Amen. We're married to somebody that's with a different personality than we have. I mean, they think with the other side of the brain, the men and women think with a different side of the brain. So therefore, we got to know how to get adjusted to each other. I mean, listen, y'all, let me tell y'all something. Our problem in marriage is why marriages don't go smooth because we try to find out. Amen. Uh, we're always bringing up what's wrong with each other. Uh -huh. Amen. We're human. We all got problems. Amen. We all fall short of the glory of God. Amen. amen. And so therefore, amen, now listen here, if you don't come to me and help straighten me out, do it in love and kindness. Amen. I'll accept you better if you came to me in a delightful way and said, sweetheart, you know what? What you're doing now, that, that really don't really make a lot of sense. Show me. Don't scream this at me and expect me to, amen, to handle that with care. Oh, what you see? Uh, no, hold up. You're talking the wrong one. <laughs> so what could have worked? Now it's not going to work because you came at me the wrong way. Amen. Amen. Now listen here, y'all. As husbands and wives, as boyfriends and girlfriends, how in the world is it so that we can speak to everybody else kind? Yeah, right. How you doing, yeah. sister? God bless you. God bless you, sister. Hey, bro, God bless you. You preaching. Who you think you are? You, you ain't talking to me. I'm talking to God like a dog. You bring everybody else in the church with love and kindness and get home and talk to your husband and talk to your wife. That ain't nobody. Don't think they don't see that in church. You talk to sister, uh, I ain't know you and sister so-and-so are gonna get, get y'all vows and get, get, renew y'all vows and get You treat her better than you treat her. Come on now. Every time I turn y'all, y'all kiki. But when you get around me, ain't no kiki going on. Hey, what you laugh with me the way you laugh with sister? Sit. Tell me what's funny. Let me get it, let me get it on this. I think we all need to laugh together. Come on. Now this ain't got nothing. You can call it jealousy all you want to. It ain't necessarily jealousy. You create the must. You can't laugh at home, but you can laugh everywhere else but home. And every other woman or every other man face, but you can't laugh at your own. There's some problem. Baby, did you see me? I'm watching the game. I need to bring some songs over here to translate for me. <laughs> Hello. Amen. Listen, 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 y'all. Amen. It's God first, and then your family, your wife. Amen. Don't you put, ever put anybody before God, and then your spouse come next, and then your children. Ladies, your children come behind your husband. Vice versa. I will.
fish. I thank God that we didn't have a lot of problems. I ain't say my kids never try to play the two hands against the middle, but when they find out that we was on the same side and we knew what time it was, it stopped. Because if it would have proceeded, it would have been some somebody been going to the dentist. Because you're trying to tell my marriage. This is my husband. I mean, when I read my vows, amen, I promise to love her and take care of her and, and, and do things for her, and you trying to tear it up. Amen, listen, one thing, let me tell y'all something about children. Children are one day going to grow up and leave your home for yourself, by your home by yourself, and you may come grandma, and the grandchildren, when they buy your grandma, they're going to come over there long as they little, when they grow up, they're going to forget about you. But if you got a husband, you can grow old gracefully together. Amen. Kids gonna grow up, they gonna get a girlfriend, they're gonna get a boyfriend, and then what what that boy? He go with her house. Right. When you only time you see him when he pull up to the table and when he go to bed, and when he get up in the morning, he'll get up early before you get up. Amen. So when you got to somebody, when God send you someone, Amen. love him. Amen. Love her above your children. Y'all ain't please don't let your hands fall on trying to clap. Y'all gotta impress me, baby. I know it's already right. It may be tight, but it's right, Paul. Go back to your vows. Your husband, your wife supersedes your children. I don't care to carry them 12 months. They ain't got nothing to do with it. Have absolutely nothing to do with it. That woman or that man can give you what your children can't give you. I ain't just talking about no sex right now. That's a love that men have for women that their children cannot give. Y'all be by yourself, ducking your own dentures one day. <laughs> you got nobody baby brain minds with you brain your own. <laughs> Listen here. Amen. Amen. Look here, look here, look here, look here, look here. Look here. Let me tell y'all something. When you in love, when you when you when your spouse loves you, if all your teeth fall out, it's okay. Because they love you for who you are. <laughs> And then now look at you, now you may have your own preference, and then that's good in your own way, but when God says something different, you better go with God. Amen. Up, Amen. Amen. I would rather have a woman that's uh, snagging two of all those teeth out, and God told me to marry her. I'd rather marry her than have one with an old, pretty old smile. Because at least I can help snag them again. We can fix her up, we can get her what she needs to be. We're going to come a little something, but we we going to be all right. We <laughs> gonna be alright. But guess what? She gonna support me. Amen. She gonna do that. She gonna do as I. She gonna follow me as I follow Christ. Amen. She gonna be a prayer for me. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I, don't, I, don't, I ain't looking nobody mouth, so I ain't talking to nobody. Listen here. The Bible talks about scripture. It talks about. Amen. The Word of God tells us in the book of. Uh, 1 Corinthians 13, it tells us the kind of love that we ought to have for each other. Amen. It says, first of all, love is patient. Love is patient, y'all. 1 Corinthians 13, love is patient. That means sometimes thought you gotta wait on me. I ain't why I need to be right now, but you gotta wait. I can't throw in the towel. Look at y'all, look, I'm saying why love is patient. God knew, amen, that if we if she burnt the rice, we don't want to get a divorce. Love is patient. Amen. I may not be the guy that you may look across the fence with. I may not be the guy that he is, but I'm going to be who God wants me to be. And if you're patient with me, you love me enough, show me that you care enough, I'm going to cross over. I'm going to be just who God called me to be. Amen. So sometimes you get rid of good men and good women before God gets through with the work. Listen here. Amen. Say, now what you doing, good girls? You are new with this fool. Bible tells me not to call other people fool, but I'm calling myself that because I know I was crazy. It's this good girl, home, homebody, don't go nowhere, don't drink, don't smoke. With the opposite, this drinker, smoker, smoke cocaine addict, all kind of people I was. What in the world she doing here? But see, see, people didn't, they weren't looking through the eyes of God. And there was family members, and they meant well, and they was telling her the right thing. They meant well because they want what was best for her, and I didn't look like the best for her. Because <laughs> I'm a preacher, though, I still may not be the best for her, but it's working out, amen? Amen, I mean, our sisters could be way better than me. Amen, but what I'm 
I'm saying is, amen, but you got to be patient because people are not always going to be where they are. Amen. Amen. Because we live in the last day and God is bringing a remnant. God is bringing in some folk. Amen. God is changing the hearts of some people that you thought will always be what they used to be. Amen. That way, if you're hanging there, you won't have no regrets. Amen. Stop judging folk for where they are now. Because the song I said, please be patient with me because God ain't through, ain't through with me yet. Amen. Love is patient. Love is kind. Now let's hear y'all. How are you going to tell somebody to love them, but you're not kind to them? Love is kind. And it's not jealous. What y'all saying? I hope you please go ahead and go past that real quick. Love ain't jealous. You know what you got? Love ain't jealous. Who to be jealous of? I ain't talking about this stuff. Yes, you may be talking to her, but I'm going home with it. Ain't talking about that kind of stuff. It's crazy. <laughs> and there are people, believe it or not, of uh, Genoa, there are women, there are men that will do stuff spitefully in church, knowing that the woman got a problem with her, talking to her man, and she'll still make her present up. How you doing, Brother Kelly? <laughs> Spitefully because it's gonna upset Sister Corey. <laughs> Child, I made her jealous. I got all in a man's face. Well, you wasn't talking about nothing. You wasn't talking about absolutely nothing. You ain't hurting nobody but yourself. Let me tell y'all something. Hey, let me tell y'all something. I'm, I'm on the way. If that's you, guess what? When you find Mr. Right, ain't my right God. Mr. Right, everything that you have put out, I know about because I read too. Everything that you have put out, been spiteful and doing all these things. When you get your husband, I was married now. I'm sure you're right. You will get some of that back. If you don't, God got to rewrite the book. And he ain't planning on doing it because we're too close to the end as it is. Amen. So remember, y'all, so so learn how to give thanks and all things. So when it begins to happen, all they need to tell God is thank you, Lord. All of us reap what we have sown. Don't feel that you got saved now. God don't forget about it. No, he has. The word is true. Love does not brag and is not arrogant. There are people that are braggadocious and they're trying to make other people jealous on what they have obtained. You know what I mean? There are other women that are watching other husbands do for their wives and then all of a sudden, now all of a sudden you want to give you, you're on your man because he hasn't given you what Brother JoJo is giving suit suits. And now all of a sudden there's a problem. All of us are not in the same uh, tax bracket. Some of us are a little bit more fortunate than others. So stop trying to size your man and your woman up because they're not doing what somebody else is doing. Amen. They don't, you don't have what somebody else have. You don't know how much people are insulted to get what they got. Amen. So take that weight off your husband, take that weight off your wife, and then she, she fix his plate. Well, maybe you ain't showing sure no love. That's why you gotta go get your own. <laughs> huh? Amen. Maybe she don't know what the inside of a restaurant look like. So, hey, amen. The lady at the restaurant serve up, but I'm going to let you serve yourself. You can't let me get served no time. Let me tell y'all something. Some of y'all women ain't seen the inside of a restaurant so long that you took yourself out. And some of y'all don't know the inside of a hotel room look like. Married, I'm talking about. That's what y'all see. Hello. I don't care, y'all don't know what the inside of a hotel look like. Cause get what? You ain't been nowhere. He ain't taking you nowhere. Amen. Amen. I tell y'all this often. The hotel room smells this. When I get up, I leave it like it is. Somebody's gonna clean up for me. That means, brother, you gotta take me out to dinner. I ain't gotta cook for you. You gotta treat me like the queen that I am. Amen. That's what's up. Amen. Amen. Let's see it. If you settle for anything less than that, you ain't no more. Parker Jr. said, a woman needs love just like you do. Amen. Don't kid yourself thinking that she don't. You gotta be demanding. Hey, listen here. If you ain't getting some of these things I'm mentioning about, get demanded. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. I'm gonna tell you something right now. I ain't gonna keep the bed cold because I know what the Bible said. But the stove is gonna have ice stickers hanging on. 
Keep you a few dollars in your pocket, son, because you have to go somewhere else to eat. I want to get from this residence. I want to go somewhere sometime. Y'all women, you ain't married yet. You ain't got no obligation to this Negro. Don't let it become to the point where you don't go nowhere, don't do nothing together. Hey Amen. You like statue of living sitting in the house. Y'all got like 80, 85 years old. Listen here. One thing I'm gonna do, one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna applaud them door sets. Amen. Amen. Them door sets brought me here, how they whole good neighbor. They can know how to be out of here. Yeah. Yeah. They way down they talk. I mean, they've been doing it for years. This is how you keep marriages working. Amen. What we do, we start keeping each other. We start taking each other for granted. Amen. I want. I'm I telling my wife, shake me, baby. I'm starting to get a lot of things. Don't want to go on, shake me, please. It's so wrong. I ain't worried about. Look here. I'm, if we can sacrifice for everything else, we can sacrifice for our wives. Amen. Amen. Anytime a woman can slay over a stove for you and cook and clean and wash your clothes, and then look here, brother. Look here. You got. You got to make a sacrifice somewhere. Amen. You may not be able to do it as much as you want to do it, but you got to be like Nike. Just do it. Forget about costs for a little while. It ain't got to be no anniversary. It ain't got to be her birthday, y'all. Sometimes you got to go out of season. Amen. That's what real love when you're out of season. She ain't saying he's just doing this because it's my birthday. Go out of season sometimes. Well, baby, your birthday ain't just six months from now. Let's roll. Yeah. Ain't gonna have to deal with all the food we got in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'll tell you what, give me that stuff. Look at me. <laughs> Hello, somebody. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Let me sit back like the king, the queen, and sit back and flip the channel while you in there. <laughs> See, we don't see that, right? y'all understand? So no, we're not in that boat. And then we all gotta make sacrifices one for another to keep our marriages healthy. If you plan on getting married, ladies, please don't go. These are some of the things that you're gonna encounter, you must encounter. You need to be willing to bend some. Amen. Amen. Both of us does not act unbecoming. Real love do not act up. Real love. Now listen here. When you follow the life of Jesus, you never see Jesus cut up. <laughs> he went into the church one time and put over the tables simply because they were selling doves and stuff in the right. temple. Amen. He said, this is a house of prayer, not a den of thieves. Amen. So he showed them what he worked with. But love is not, amen, not unbecoming. Some of y'all don't care if you act out in public. And it shows some, if you act out in public, boy, you some mess at the crib. <laughs> if you big enough to embarrass your husband or your wife in public, Lord have mercy. Our brother, I live on the rooftop, let you have a house. <laughs> huh? Our sister. And some of us men, they get hell in the wind. Some of us got a warm spirit. Blank and blank and blank and blank. Sorry, ladies. We still love you. It does not seek his own. Now, listen, y'all. One thing, if you about, if you think about getting married, or you're married before you get married, realize that it doesn't love don't seek his own. It's not all about you. Uh oh, I made my mind my wasn't close enough to the mic. It ain't all about you. You got a little figure. It ain't all about your figure. Amen. I'm not marrying myself. I'm marrying you. So it ain't all about you. It ain't all about me. It's about us. Amen. Come on, somebody. It ain't all, see, we gotta understand that. Amen. Look at y'all. Yeah, you know, I understand that. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You a prize? My, my wife a prize. I'm a prize. We're prize each other. Amen. It'll be all about her. And thank God she got that kind of mindset. It gotta be all about her. Amen. I come home sometimes. Like, Maybe I got your favorite. What you say, <laughs> girl? You go head on. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So, 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 listen here. When the last time you really surprised, you sprung something on your smile? It's just, this, 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 Thank y'all. Okay. Does not take wrongdoing.
doing in account? How many times you as a spouse, or you as a girlfriend or boyfriend, how many times you're reminding your husband or your wife or your girlfriend or your boyfriend about the wrong they done in the past? Now look here, if you can't get over, oh, if, if you can't get over me what I've done in the past, if you can't get over that, it don't need us going no further. Amen. I don't need our future to be about what I have done in the past. I need you to be able to learn how to forgive and forget. The Bible says if you don't forgive me of my trespasses, God won't forgive you. So I need to know, am I forgiven? Because they don't use us making a wedding plan. Huh? People do change, y'all know that, right? So some of us need to forgive about all the wrong of how you was treated in the past. It's no longer the past, it's the present. Okay? So love. It does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but it rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things. We got to learn how to put up with stuff. Amen. Each other. Amen. Love believes all things. Hopes all things. Love endures all things. Love never fails. It never fails. Have this love in your heart, and you have been chosen to, uh, you got to have this type of love in your heart. Amen. This is the love of God. When we learn how to forgive and forget. How we gonna let go and let people live? And then we'll beat people down with the past. Guess what? You got one too. Yes. Now, if God is God enough to throw my past in the sea of forgiveness, never to remember it again, what you should be doing? Because guess what? You got a past too. Amen. Ain't nobody done everything right. Amen. Absolutely nobody but Jesus. Amen? So, get out to the rain, or well, rain is a symbol of our love one for each other. There's no breaks, there's no tears in it. It comes together. It's complete. This is what it means. Amen? So, so what we need to do as believers, amen, and, 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 and now to the point now, now, now you become to the point where you pronounce husband and wife. You know what I mean? So that means that you become one. Now, the Bible talks about forsaking all others. Now, let me tell you all something. I told a couple yesterday, I say, listen, and I tell every couple this. The Bible says when a man and a wife get together, they become one flesh, but they leave the mother and father. Some of y'all been calling mama too much. Got some men that they may be men, but they ain't grown up yet. Mama, you know what she do? Mama. And this is why stuff stay tore up, because you're calling everybody but the preacher. Every mama in here love their baby. Hello. It's all right, I get on. Brother, he rusty Jones or not. Grown and rusty. <laughs> And he called his mama and said, Mama, this girl, uh, uh, she called her mama. Guess what? The, the women get defensive. What? You ain't got to put up with that. <laughs> Y'all wrong. Y'all wrong for that. Y'all do not invite your mama Nim. Y'all let me say it like that. Don't invite your mama Nim in your business. Because mama gonna be mama. She love her baby. Amen? So so listen here. Let me tell y'all why. Let me tell y'all reason why. Now listen, it says, scripture says this. Therefore what God has joined together, let no man separate. Now see what happens there? When you start taking mama Nim advice, it causes a separation. Amen. Because, and God's going to hold mom in them for what goes down. You know what I mean? And, and so, so listen, mom and them would know nothing if you stay out of the phone. That's right. Amen. Huh? Listen here, listen, and, and this is my reason. Hey Amen. Before I can't before I marry anybody, I counsel them, I tell them, I said, when you run into a problem, who are you going to call? I ain't to my Ghostbusters. <laughs> it's not, I said, do not call your parents. Call me as your pastor, as your leader. I ain't on nobody's side, though it may seem that way, I'm on right side. Amen. And I ain't trying to make no reflection on nobody for them to look wrong. I'm just trying to help fix what's wrong. Amen. I ain't gonna go ahead and, and make you bleed. Yeah, that's just still your husband, that's still your wife. But I ain't gonna do that in front of, brother, brother you wanna get the victory out of the meeting or not. I ain't gonna put nobody down, because that's your wife still, that's still your husband. Amen. They ain't gonna jump on my side because they want a little victim for right now. Man, that's my wife, man. How you talking about my wife? That's my husband. So, so we have to get what's right. We have to solve the problem. So we have, and there's a part of here that speaks to the congregation for us to uphold these marriages. Some of us 
Only thing we doing is this. We run and tell everything we see. Child, now. Nah. I ain't said this. That's your first lie. You heard that from me. That's the first lie you done told. Now, you could have gone on a spree from right there. Because guess what, you don't know what you're going to say. Yes, you know it. Because, oh, I see him talking to Sister Jamaica, man, John, and, and I can tell by their body language. Oh, oh man, you done no. studied bodies now. <laughs> you ain't finished high school now. All of a sudden, you, you know body language. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. And so, so now you, you know all these body languages, and now you'll go back and tell her, child, I'm telling you, I know they got some more. I can tell by the body language. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, bro, having a good day, he was out there witnessing, out there witnessing for the Lord. Now he come home to the report to his wife, baby, you, the Lord, you, what you said, the Lord, he ain't get a chance to say he used it. I heard you in the face of heifer. <laughs> but we was in the presence of the Lord, baby. No, I, I knew something was going on. Now guess what? The reporter, the reporter home in the AC, eating us some grapes, eating us some candles, some watermelon, chilling out. Y'all with cats and dogs on. That's right. Look here. You better be show look at you better be showing up on your P's and Q's coming to me about my wife. So the first person I'm gonna be looking at is you. That's right. Man. Negro, what you said? <laughs> you don't want to come to me. No, 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 because guess what? Y'all, I believe that everybody that's born of God is on a sign. Amen. You think I'm a my wife is not fragile to the point where I can't talk to no women. Oh no, he only preach to me. Come on, man. God said, go to all the world and preach the gospel. Sometimes it's going to be women with short skirts on. Somebody going to love they got maxes. They're going to be all down to the angle. Guess what? It don't make no difference because I'm here. Amen. I'm kidding about what you got. I'm talking about your heart right now. Amen. I know if you die in your condition, in hell, you're going to lift your eyes. At least I got to make you accountable to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, so if you, you know, I ain't worried about my wife witnessing to no man. Baby, work. As long as his hands off you, we cool. Amen. <laughs> I'm coming to straight hug, no way, I'm coming to straight him. Bro, hold up, bro. You want a hug, here it is. You hug up, well, hug me too. Hello. Amen. So, 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 that's what we can't get. We get when, we're, when we're believers, we cannot allow jealousy to come in when we're supposed to be witnesses for Christ. You understand what I'm saying? We can't, we can't allow this stuff to come in. But, 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 but you're not, we're not, we're not getting married to be each other's boss. You know I mean, so we can give orders, amen? Now, you give orders to your kids, but we're grown-ups. Amen. amen. And that, the Bible tells women, amen, the Bible don't only just tell women, the Bible tells us this as women, the, the women tell the women, obey your own husband. Now, let me tell you this. By doing that, it'll help save those preachers' lives. Let's guess what now? Because if you can obey me as your pastor, but you can't obey your husband, that's the first order of the day. Obey, obey your own husband. I'm somebody else's husband. Hello, does that make sense? Yeah. Obey, uh, even though you're a pastor, obey your own husband. Yeah. Amen. And then when I come to your pastor, then you, your husband ain't going to have a problem with me. If I ask you to do that, he's like, oh man, you straight. You, you doing whatever at the crib. You straight at the crib. So, Pastor, come on, y'all roll with that. But man, you begging him again. And I've been asking you one for three months. <laughs> I can't get no hot meal, but you're making me preach you one. <laughs> now you're gonna come to looking at me, man. Hey, hey bro, I ain't, done, I ain't done nothing. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? It makes sense. Like, look at y'all in, in, in closing. Look, the Bible says that charity. If you got all this love and all this compassion, y'all please let it start at your house. Amen. If it start at your house, wherever you go, it's going to be there. Amen. It spread is abroad. Amen. So listen, it's gonna be intriguing. It's gonna be. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't got started. I, I barely got started today. Amen. But we need to know when you get married, it's like another job. Amen. It can be. It can be a good job that your mind showing up to. I'm going to be a job that you want to say, man, I'm calling in today. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Yeah, it's what you make it. Marriage is what you make it. Hey, man, you know, you looking at somebody else's marriage and want, to, want your marriage to be that way. Look here. Y'all, let me tell y'all something. It ain't always what it looks like. Yes, sir. We can not trust me, y'all. We can dress it up, make it look good, and, 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 and come through the door together. We can do all kinds of stuff. Don't mean that it's together, y'all. Yes,
Are y'all jealous? People are arguing mad at y'all. The people y'all jealous of arguing mad at y'all arguing. But you jealous. Let's see, y'all. Live inside your own means, inside your own house. Amen. Stop looking across the fence. I wish if I had a woman, if I only had a woman like that. Yes, you'd be crying tears, drinking tears for the woman. You just don't know people. You just don't know people, man. When you marry, and you don't know. Listen, that's why it's good to be, good to be spirit led. When God leads you to marry somebody, you know you get the right person. Amen. When your flesh get in, when our flesh get in the way. We don't know what's going to be coming that thing. Amen. Amen. Mm. We got enough people with schizophrenia as it is in the church. Schizos. <laughs> Hello, it exists. You say hallelujah all you want to, but you got two names. Your regular name and your other name. <laughs> Sometimes your husband stay married and your wife stay married to the other person more than stay married to you. Hello. Amen. Yeah, he told that man that you had schizophrenia. He probably married you, you know that. I didn't know you had another side. We need to get you delivered. Not that you ain't marriage material, you ain't marriage material like that. You need to be free first. So that's what we gotta do, y'all. So so now that I'm married, amen, there's some things, there's some things you gotta learn in the midst of marriages. And look at y'all, let me say this, and, I'm, and, I, and I promise you I'm gonna close. Listen here. If women, if older women in the church was doing their job. The scripture, y'all, is the job of the older women to teach the young women how to treat their husband. Amen. Listen, y'all, the older women have forgot about that and they want to jump in the pulpit and preach. Y'all, I don't care if you don't say amen or not. Amen. The job of the older women, what, they ain't got to be no grandmas either. The job of the older women was to take the young women and show them how to treat their husbands, how to love their husbands. The reason why it ain't happening is because they don't know how to do it. Amen. Because they still standing toe to toe with their husband, trying to tell him what to get up in. So they can't teach those young women how to love and cherish their husband because they still argumentative. Who? I work just like you. You don't tell me what to do. And get with your, your daughter and granddad, I'm saying spirit. That same spirit and introduce it into her man. Y'all real, y'all bad when you stand toe to toe with your husband and just argue like ain't nobody no tomorrow. Listen, I'm your covering spiritually. He's your covering. He's your priest at your house. He stands in God's stead, and I don't care what he looked like. He may not be nobody to the society, but to God, he's a priest of your house. And if you got to the Bible tells you to honor him, you got to honor him. Amen. Hello. Sarah loved Abraham so that she called him Lord. So y'all, I, 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 all of us, our culture that got it wrong, is equal live. I work just like you work. I pay bills just like you pay bills. Baby, but that got nothing to do with how God established things. Christ, man, whoa, man. That's protocol. God didn't put you above the man. I don't care if you call yourself apostle, doctor, teacher, whatever you call yourself. You're not above your husband. That's out of order. So, we got to learn how to bow to us and learn how to submit one to another. Because I'm the man, I didn't know how to submit to my wife. Because I'm the man, don't mean it's always my way. If you're a man and you have the love of God, you're going to be considerate towards your spouse. Amen. Because there's one thing I love, y'all, and every one of us should love as men. One thing I look forward to is a happy house. I try not to do anything that's going to disturb the house. Amen. I want to join the peace that's in the house. I want to remain. Amen. Y'all ain't like y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyhow, God bless you. God keep it. It's my prayer. I like peace.